Hi, in today's tutorial I will show you how to loop animations using simple expressions. Expressions will probably look very complicated to you if you've never used them before, but once you learn how to use them, you will see that it is very simple. So I'm going to create a new composition. I'm using the default preset um, AGTV 1080 and the frame rate is 29.97. Um, now I'm going to create a new shape layer and then I'm going to add an ellipse and I'm just going to add a fill. So right now I'm going to keyframe the position. So I'm going to create a first keyframe and I'm going to create a second keyframe and I'm just going to move this ellipse to the right. So now I'm going to alt click on the stopwatch, then I'm going to the expression language menu and I'm going under property and we can see a loop in and a loop out expression. Um, I'm going to use loop out. Um, if you want uh, the loop to happen before your keyframes, um, then you need to use loop in. If you want the loop to happen um, after your last keyframe, then you need to use um, loop out. So once you add this, you will see these two default values. Um, this is the number of keyframes that will be um, repeated and this is the type of the loop. Um, this is a default value and an expression will work without it. So I'm just going to delete it. And now um, the type is set to cycle and let's see what that does. So as you can see that just uh, loops are animation. Um, it's basically the same as if I just manually copied and pasted these keyframes. So after the last keyframe, the value returns to the uh, value of the first one, and then um, it repeats the animation like that. Um, next, we have the ping pong. And what that does is it animates um, from the first keyframe to the last one, and then again from the last one to the first one, and basically repeats that pattern. So as we can see, this looks like the ball is bouncing. Um, then we have offset. And um, as you can see, the ball just continues moving to the right. And I'm just going to add another keyframe right here so that you can see what's happening better. So right now you can see that this animation is repeating and it looks like this ball is bouncing. So offset basically increases the values of these keyframes each time they are repeated and that's why the ball keeps on moving to the right. And the last type is continue. And what that does is it loops this animation based on the velocity of the last keyframe. So um, basically, um, if I haven't added this keyframe right here, you wouldn't see any difference between this and offset. Because as you can see, it looks the same. But once I add this keyframe, you'll see uh, the difference between uh, the two uh, types. So this expression is very useful if you need to create animations that uh, repeat. Instead of creating like 50 keyframes, you just need to type in a simple expression and it will do the job for you. And it's also uh, very easy to adjust the timing of these keyframes. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial and that I helped you learn something new. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, then please check out my channel and subscribe. And thank you for watching.